this outdoor season, I really wanted to bounce back from my last race and the indoor season. NCAA's indoor did not go as I wanted it to. Um, so my first race back is really something I wanted to prove to myself and prove to everyone that saw what happened at NCAA's that um, I'm a different person. I'm ready to go and be aggressive this season and um, really right my wrong that I had there at, at, at my last race indoors. Yeah, any tens was a great experience because we were all gung ho as a team. We we had this big goal of coming in second, as we do every season. But we really felt close as a team, um, and we came together, and uh, it was just a blast. We had so much energy going into the meet. Throughout the meet, people were making finals that weren't supposed to make finals. People were um, moving up, getting more points than they were projected, and it was just a great energy. Um, unfortunately, at the end of the meet, didn't go the way we wanted, but we knew we put our heart and soul into it and we gave it everything we had. Um, so we were all excited for that just because the energy surrounding it um, and everyone had each other's backs. Coming off a of great any tens, I, I was riding this wave of confidence and I knew um, that I could just go out there and try to win it and I knew a fast time would come. I also knew that this was the last chance I had to qualify for NCAA, so I had to do something special. So just when the gun went off, um, I just wanted to put myself in a good position. I know historically, like in these finals at um, New England, the leaders like to go out fast. People are ambitious, so I just wanted to stay calm, let the leaders go out as fast as they want, but um, stay hunting in the back of the pack. And then at uh, 400 to go, I looked at the clock, and I don't like to look at the clock, but I was just curious. So I looked at the clock, and it's 54 seconds, and that's exactly what um, a 150 is. If you go out in a 54 and you come back in a 56, you get a 150. So I, I was spot on and I was like, all right, sweet. But um, I knew that there wasn't room to slack off. So I had to continue to stay aggressive. Um, I made a big move with 300 to go um, to go from the back of the pack to first place with 200 to go. And it wasn't until like 50 to go that I was like, oh, I could win this thing. Like I'm in first place right now. And uh, I felt one person come up on my shoulder Hugo, we have a big rivalry, at least I think so, um, back and forth uh, at NE10s and at New England's. He came up on my shoulder the last like 10, and uh, I was like, ah, crap. But I was really happy with the way I performed, the way I responded, and the way I competed. I just want to race like I've been doing all season, um, race the way I, I like to race, stay comfortable and relaxed, to let some people do the work. Um, and I know I'm peaking at the right time. Um, last week proved that it's going to be warm as long as I'm relaxed and I'm aware of the situation around me. I'm pretty confident that I can run fast and my goal is to just run as fast as I can, get a PR, and if that gets me into the finals, then that's great. If I PR and it doesn't get me into the finals, that's okay because I gave it everything I got. I have two things to say. One is a thank you to the coaching staff, uh, Schwartz, Karen, um, Delgado and even Coach Hart. They've been um, great role models the past four years. And uh, I came in here to play soccer, but Karen, shout out to her. She let me uh, play soccer and then come onto the track team. Jim Reddish, too, let me run track uh, in the soccer offseason. I know a lot of coaches um, at different schools don't let their athletes play multiple sports. So shout out to both Karen and Jim um, for letting me do what I love to do soccer and track. Um, and then I guess my parting words would be to the underclassmen. I said this to some of my teammates last week, but uh, really have confidence in yourself and be your own biggest fan because track, um, a lot of weight can be put on your shoulders because you're responsible with the outcome of your race because you're running it just by yourself. But um, so you can put a lot of weight on your shoulders, but just be your own biggest fan and believe in yourself because uh, once you start believing in yourself, then you can uh, you actually know it's possible and it, it'll come. Ah, it means so much. I was so happy when Luke um, and Madison got in. Madison, like you said, got in first, and uh, I kind of wanted to go just so she didn't have to be by herself, and even Lucas um, qualified before my race went off, so um, my goal was kind of just to be down there with them, but it means a whole lot more to have more people around you. There's less pressure on you because um, competing at a national championship, you're getting texts the night before like from all your old teammates that are like, good luck tomorrow, I know you're gonna do great. 
and I can only imagine if I was down there by myself and have that all that pressure on me um, that'd be a lot but you know we can use each other and hang out and goof off and not just like think about the race we can like hang out and talk to each other that means a lot um, also Joe Conley's going down um, with his dad and like at a press pass but he's been to a national championship he knows what the pressure's like and I think he'll just like help us like goof around and not think about it too much so I'm happy he's going to